Hey everyone, Ted here from Mango Dogs, and um, I'm hanging out here with Max. So, this is Max, say hello. Max, say hello. Hi. I want to kiss, thank you. I like the kisses too. I do like the kisses. So, uh, one thing is, he's handsome. He's a beautiful boy, he's a really good looking dog. But I really wanted to... Nice. You drooled all over, drooled all over me. Um, but I really wanted to share a little bit about Max because he's such an impressive dog. He's eight years old. He's a rescue dog, but he literally looks like he's three years old. Um, he's an amazing dog. He's a service animal for one of my clients um, who has some medical conditions, um, and he's been very helpful within that. I wanted to share a story because he's just so incredible um, and you know a lot of service dogs are trained to be service dogs. He trained himself to be a service dog. So I'll tell you the story because it's pretty mind blowing. So my client, um, she was fostering for a local rescue and uh, she had this guy in for foster and she's been struggling with uh, some medical issues since pretty much since she's been forever, unfortunately. And uh, so one day she was just hanging out with Max and Max started to grab her sweater and started tugging on her and she thought, this is odd, why is he doing this? This makes no sense. Uh, he is dragging her towards the bathroom. She's honestly getting a little bit mad about the whole situation. She has no idea what he's trying to do. Uh, turns out that he had some divine inspiration uh, and he was trying to communicate with her. So my client has uh, Crohn's disease and uh, if you know anything about Crohn's disease, it does a few things. Uh, one thing is it is very difficult to uh, for your body to communicate um, when it needs to go to the restroom. Um, so that can be very challenging for people to go out in public and live normal lives. So he does two things. He communicates with her when she needs to use the bathroom. And with Crohn's disease, oftentimes uh, people who have or suffer with Crohn's disease will have significant bouts of pain that are just earth-shattering amounts of pain. Um, and one of the other things that he does is he also communicates with her before she's about to have one of these painful episodes. The cool thing about him is he will, he will communicate with her between nine and 12 minutes before she has one of these painful episodes. And so as soon as he does, she goes and gets her pain medication, um, medicates for her pain and that takes about 15 minutes. So essentially he's gotten her to the point where she only has to deal with about four minutes of pain before uh, things subside and the pain medication um, essentially kicks in. This is amazing to me because he figured this out on his own. Um, he was not trained to do this and it just really it really blows my mind to see how some dogs can do things like this. Um, no credit is due to myself. That is for darn sure. He was doing all of these things before I had met him. Um, and he's just a wonderful dog. He's got an amazing temperament. And I wanted to share Max's story because, you know, a lot of the things that I post are contingent on people struggling with their dogs because that's what I tend to work with. Um, but I just feel like it's such a great story. Max, he's some sort of, sort of a pit bull mix, I, I assume. He came up through rescue from New York, I believe. And he's just such a great um, specimen of, of a bully breed dog. You know, he's a dog that helps somebody and completely has changed her life. Um, so yeah, this is Max. He's beautiful. He is well-trained. He does an amazing job for his mama, and they have a very, very strong connection and bond. So, that is Max. 
I wish every dog could be like Max. He has some sort of superpowers. Maybe that's why he's wearing a Superman uh, collar right now. I just noticed that. Superman Max. I hope that made you tear up a little bit. Because it makes me tear up just uh, just hanging out with him. Just knowing how, how much um, he affects... Uh, his mom's life, and um, it's just amazing what God has created in, in dogs. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know where this video is going, but I just wanted to tell his story and give him lots of props. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.